Almost exactly a year ago, the Albion won 1-0 here on their way to their best ever top flight finish. So much has changed since then, but plenty has stayed the same. Tottenham are still a side that over-promise and under-deliver, whilst Brighton are a team inspired, hunting down another record-breaking season with a passion and tenacity that makes them a joy to watch. They'll need to dig deep, though, if they're to repeat last season's glorious scenes here and tighten their stranglehold on the European places. Well, it looks like there's some strong words between the two managers ahead of kickoff. Gross. March, the wide option. Here he is. March scooping it over the top. Good looking ball as well for Welbeck, who scrapes it back into the six yard box. And it's nodded out by Longley for the first corner of the afternoon. An in swinger from March. Over it goes. Great delivery. And at the back post, it's not away yet. Drops for Veltman. They want a handball. It's back out to March. Albion testing this Spurs defence early on here. March has gone down. Albion won a penalty here. Great delivery from March. Veltman gesticulating wildly that the ball was handled. Spurs, though, have it back. Can Perisic keep it in? He most certainly can. Son. Goes for the curler. Oh, it's a spectacular goal from Son. An absolutely fabulous hit. And Spurs lead after less than 10 minutes. Collected from Perisic's pass. Worked a couple of yards and then unleashed a powerful, curling, inch-perfect hit beyond Steele's despairing dive. And Spurs have a crucial lead after less than 10 minutes. Great goal. Good ball that for Son. Kane. Spurs playing effectively on the counter here, very effectively, because Kulisewski has isolated Colwell. Kane ahead of him. Here is Harry Kane, and it's a brilliant Recovery challenge from Joel Veltman. Outstanding work from the Dutchman. And wins the goal kick for his side as well. There's certainly a tactical tweak from Roberto De Zerbi in this game because Kaoru Mitoma is playing far more central. And here he is, Mitoma is in to score! A wonderful finish from Mitoma. Although it's going to be chalked off. A handball is the call. A scoop over the top. Mitoma advancing, certainly no offside. And he controls and steers it in in one movement. It's magnificent from Mitoma. Well, that is dubious as to whether he handled it. A brilliant run, a wonderful pass from... McAllister, but the goal is not given. Mitoma is frustrated by the decision. Good touch from Welbeck. McAllister tipped away by Lloris. Spurs don't panic. They play their way out, then they go long. Veltman wins it from Son. Hoybjerg, he's lost it, Caicedo, Caicedo off the post, how unlucky can you get, Albion really should be level, a disallowed goal, a splendid save from Lloris and then a shot that rattles the inside of the post, first McAllister dipping into the corner, Lloris springing to his right to palm away and then Hoiberg getting into an absolute mess. Look at this from Caicedo. Oh, it's, a, it's actually a wonderful stop again from Lloris. Didn't look it on first viewing. Good turn from Hoiberg. Skip. Kane. Kane. Son. Runners either side. Hoiberg could be in for two. And it's another wonderful challenge from Lewis Dunn. Last ditch, but incredibly effective. 
Veltman. And it's headed firmly away for an Albion corner. Forward come Veltman, Dunk and Colwell. Over it goes from March. Back post, it's Dunk and it's 1-1. Lewis Dunk with a bullet of a header unmarked and on his 200th Premier League appearance the skipper draws Albion level great delivery from March but where was the Tottenham defence Lewis Dunk probably the biggest threat from set pieces left completely on his own with the freedom of the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to thump a header beyond Lloris and level the game up at 1-1 richly deserved for Brighton only his second of the season. But a big goal in the context of the game and in the context of the hunt for Europe. And Roberto De Zerbi has plenty to say about it. Christian Romero, a master of winding opposition players up. The dark arts as Perisic goes on. And Perisic can't smuggle it under Jason Steele, who makes an important save. For a heart-stopping minute, it looked as if Perisic had managed to squirm this one under steel, but did enough to divert it out for a corner, the Albion stopper. Hosedo, that's intelligent, and that's good from Gross as well to keep the momentum flowing in this attack. Infield to Welbeck, Welbeck turns infield, Welbeck into the corner, Danny Welbeck gives Albion the lead. Wonderful football from the Seagulls yet again. Tottenham at sixes and sevens in defence. And the away end laps it up. Great work from Gross, he kept the move going with that clever flick. March ignored Gross down the line, found Welbeck the turn in field. Oh, big questions about Hugo Lloris. Welbeck did well to get the shot away. It's deflected, which hasn't helped Lloris's cause, but he'd expect to save that. Danny Welbeck might see this one chalked off for McAllister's part in the goal. And incredibly, it isn't given. Roberto De Zerbi cuts a bemused figure. Plenty being said on the touchline. Roberto De Zerbi is in the background. Something has happened down there. The enormity and importance of the game, the heat of the moment, is getting to some. a red card for Roberto De Zerbi and a red card for Christian Stellini. Matoma's got two with him. And he wins a corner off Pedro Porro. And Lloris doesn't punch with any conviction. Matoma goes down, no, says the referee. Oh, he looks like he's caught there, Kaoru Matoma, by Pierre-Emil Hoybjerg. Albion have every right to feel hard done by. Some contentious calls in this one. That probably the worst of them. Matoma gliding in field. McAllister kicked by Hoybjerg. Gross scoops it in. Brighton won a shirt pull. Oh, was this a shirt pull on Lewis Dunk? Well, it was. Again, another clear shirt pull. Webster down the line. Oh, Matoma. And in the flip wrong, down the line for Hoybjerg. He's got Dan Juma in the middle, and the cutback is for Kane, and Kane powers it in. He always seems to score against Brighton. He's barely had a sniff, but it only takes one moment 
and Harry Kane has buried his chance. Hoybjerg down the line and the cutback perfect for Kane who slams it beyond steel with a slight deflection off Feltman. Delight for Kane, delight for Tottenham. It could be a huge win for them in their push for Champions League qualification.